Um, my name is Andrea Hanselman. I am from Wilmington. And my name is James Bryson, and I'm from Swansboro, North Carolina. I am Tracy Baird Emsall. I am from Spokane, Washington. Hello, my name is Tara Bryant. I'm an English major from Brago, North Carolina. My name is Danielle. I am from Goldsboro, North Carolina. My name is Tanya Hermati. Um, I live in Leland, North Carolina. I'm a non-traditional student because I'm a returning student. I am over the age 25, military affiliated. I am a non-traditional student because I'm in grad school and I also transferred into UNCW. I'm married. I'm a non-traditional student because I transferred to UNCW in 2011. I'm a transfer student. I'm a commuter student. Um, I have three children. I was a transfer student. There are several challenges um, for me being a non-traditional student. You may have to work a nine to five. Not living on campus was really a major problem for me. I mean, the regular demands of life were really the, the reasons. I mean, it's nothing, it's not like I don't want to do it. There's plenty of things I'd like to do, but I just can't, I have to pay bills. I have a life outside of college. You know, I might've been in the military for 10, 15 years, so coming in and getting acclimated into you know, a different age group, um, a different style of living, because we all are at different places and areas in our life, and try to find that common ground is, I think, is a difficulty for a lot of non-traditional students. I feel as I'm uh, missing out on a lot of things in the college life, because I'm dealing with my life outside of college. Because when you transfer in, you're not necessarily coming in as a freshman, but you're still sort of in that freshman uh, and the social aspect is sort of like a freshman because you're coming to a brand new campus that you've never been to before. Um, you may have friends once you transfer it in, you may not, most of us do not. So you got to get used to a brand new campus all over again just as if you were a freshman here. Yes, I would feel if I was more active on campus, I would probably find other people that are have the same passions that I would do and that would just help, you know, fuel my passions even more. I feel as though it this is gonna be something that I'm gonna look back on and regret not being a part of the university because it may even hinder me from getting certain jobs because it's all about who you know these days and without being involved, I don't really know anyone. Involvement benefits you later on in your career because when you're involved on campus, you get to know the community, you get to know the teachers, the professors, and the deans and you make a name for yourself and they can recommend you later on and it also just helps you build your resume. Just from graduating and being in the job market, people look for, for that professional experience of being on campus and being involved with your community. It's not just good grades or GPA, it's how you get involved, it's internships, it's so many other things that combine to make your resume stand out. If you're coming out with a 4.0 GPA or a 3.5 or whatever your GPA may be, you still have other individuals come out with that same GPA. So what can set you apart from you getting a job versus them getting a job? And if you're involved in plenty of leadership roles, so if you're in orientation, you're president of organization, you're on SGA or whatever it may be, you're showing, you're showing them that you have the leadership skills that you gained along the way. And so I feel like being parts of different organizations and specifically holding roles in, in those organizations will help you along the way when it comes time for you to go into the job market. I think UNCW can improve um, several ways in supporting a non-traditional student. The first one would be I we are assigned specific advisors and I think it's our advisor's job to let us know of certain programs like the PERCH program. UNCW can help support non-traditional students by offering more classes at night. Um, most of the undergrad classes that I'm taking are in the middle of the day, which makes it an inconvenience for my 9 to 5 job. I wish people would be a little bit more open about what they are involved in. I guess it could be a little bit more inclusive towards everyone, not excluding non-traditional students, but reaching out to any type of student. A lot of graduate courses are online, so students are not always on campus like they are with traditional students. So. WebExing and Skyping people in have become really a big way to help. I think that would be the coolest thing to Skype someone into a meeting. I'd at least have the knowledge of something going on and be able to communicate my thoughts. I may not be physically there, but I think the important part is I am knowledgeable that it exists and I am a little bit of part of it by being Skyped in and I think it would really open up schedules for a lot more clubs to be formed based off of other people's interests and 
for more people to be involved in them as well. They need to think like a student and not think like a professor or an administrator. They need to realize that we have lives that we're trying to live outside of school and yes, you have to balance all of that. It, we're gonna have we're gonna have priorities, and that's that's the key to life. I think the best way UNCW can support us is just to let, it's just to let transfer students know that they are here and to provide they, we have resources here to provide to transfer students. I wish that my advisors or someone would have told me that Perch existed and that there were ways for me specifically as a non-traditional student to become involved. Um, because I don't see how the information can get to me if the information isn't there for everyone else. We just don't know. There needs to be more information out there.